Since the day this planet was created and the first beams of sunlight caressed its surface, intelligence started to take place in a whole new format. Small organisms started to develop, further evolving to more complex ones, and the rest is history. From that same token, it's obvious that all our energy originates from the sun. But before we can harness that energy from the available options, we have to be cognizant of their different forms. I've said it before, the body is the mind and the mind is the body, which basically means that they are part of a whole organism and are affected of each other. One could even say dependent. Whenever one part malfunctions, the other one gets implications. That's why you have to eat to live. And I don't mean in a trivial way, because that's a no-brainer. Eating food is not just mindlessly stuffing yourself with whatever. You have to nourish your body by feeding it with proper energy. The energy that allows you to function at your top. That's why I find this topic to be very essential for self-improvement, for betterment of physical and mental health. It's a concrete, hands-on part of a puzzle that you can directly affect. Too many people are neglecting the importance of their food choices, and that reflects on worldwide rise of health issues. Coronary and cardiac diseases together with cancer are number one killers in Western or westernized world. A simple trick to eat healthier is to think of a simple principle. Avoiding man-made foods as much as possible. Let me repeat once more. Lower the intake of foods created by humans as much as possible. I will clarify in a second. Before you eat something, ask yourself, can I find this one in nature? If the answer is no, then probably a human has created it. And there's no real way to tell what's really inside of it. Bottom line. Whole foods is the way to go. Mother Nature is very intelligent. Most often than not, the whole foods are perfectly balanced regarding micro and macronutrients. No macronutrient is bad for you. Macronutrients are proteins, carbohydrates and fats. What can be harmful though is the concentration of its intake. We don't have to go too long. Trifecta of tasty foods that everyone has grown to love consists of fat salt and sugar add these three ingredients in any dish generously and you will have a foodgasm an orgy of taste buds in your mouth yet we all know that those ingredients are man-made the fat is extracted and concentrated from animal and plant products salt is a concentrated residual from evaporated seawater sugar cane or sugar beet is processed to produce that sweet powder that everyone loves processed foods that's right stop indulging process simply means prepare taking in the original form and through some type of mixture combination packaging pre-cooked cooking or other procedures processed to be presentable in a convenient form for a stressed out homo sapiens. Now we have arrived to the epidemic problem typical for westerners which spreads all over the world. Obesity. Let me tell you this. The way authorities try to battle this um, curse isn't working. It's not even potent, quite honest. We encourage physical activities, healthy diet, try to spread consciousness by promoting new lifestyles and tricks to bypass and hinder the weight gain. But the truth is, we're fighting against the stream. We're attacking the symptoms, not the problem. The root is untouched. bad food choices and health issues generating a ton of dough and big corporations are laughing their asses off on the way to the bank it's a rabbit hole for suffering pretty straight to the point i would say sick societies in general become sick because of the rapid development happening at an exponential rate people are extremely stressed chasing careers productivity and wanting to experience everything preferably simultaneously of course there won't be any time to prepare food it results in binging in over the processed and prepared meals this stressful lifestyle creates spiritual emptiness not knowing who you are which leads to feeling that void with food 
I will present you some general notes on food. The more processed, the less nutritional. The more nutritional, the less calories. The more colorful, the more nutritional. Leafy greens are ultimate nutrition bombs. By now, many have already understood that I roll with plant-based diet. It's my personal preference after some thoughtful consideration and researching. I switched mainly because of health benefits. Some may disagree, but I guess time will tell. Besides, not harming animals is a bonus as well. So junk food mainly consists of salt, fat, sugar and heavily processed starchy carbs. That's why they contain no nutritional value whatsoever. The more we eat them, the more we crave them. Being highly addictive and lacking nutritional value, the body may be fat but still starving because of the missing microbes. There you have the formula for pandemic obesity of the western world. Stress no free time, eating garbage, never feeling satiated, craving more, getting sicker and heavier. Right here we have the immune defense system of the body in the stomach. If you eat garbage two or three days in a row and suddenly stop, you will feel a slight downswing in the mood. I've had my moments binging on sugary stuff and I remember feeling depressed the whole day after because the detox and inflammation that body tried to cope with. I know for a fact that if I train hard and don't feed the body the needed amount of foods, I feel gloomy, I feel drained, I feel down, I feel melancholic. Of course there's a a cap for how much micronutrients your body can absorb. So if you're into weight training, it's almost impossible to gain size on a very caloric, empty, nutritional food. Trust me, you won't be as Popeye. Ultimately, if you have seen some of the mindfulness videos, as you become more aware and conscious, the relationship between the mind and the body will be improved, which means that you will learn to listen to your body and eat things that will give you the best building blocks for you. Control your weight by eating whole foods. Avoid all types of packaging as much as possible, containing sugar, salt and fat. Whole foods naturally contain the amount of salt and sugar needed. There are also plenty of fatty food sources. I think I've covered the general philosophy about food and how it affects our mental and physical health. But if you have more questions or preferably have suggestions on video topics, you know what to do. And for now, Osain out.